Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Zelda Sky Song. That's us so we what the What the Um this This one's in here before But yeah last episode we have finished um the first century Fall and scare him for the second time and we got the Master Sword, tempered by Din's, Din's flame, this sword now holds a force capable of airline evil. Or can't say that word, but anyways, today we are here in um, God, what is it called again? Um, the um, the Seal Grounds. Today's episode, we are going head over and talk to. Granny? This is interesting. What the? Huh? What the? Uh. Okay, I'm. I'm just going, going to the temple. Now I'm going question this. Anyway, so let's go on in. I'm trying to see if we can reach Zelda or not. Ooh, as they've been waiting for us. Huh? Ah, your sword. There can be no doubt the sacred flames have perished, have clarified this blade. Well done, Gamey. That sword holds tremendous power. Ooh. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken in the ballad of the goddess. To look upon you is to see that same great power now flowing through you in the sword you carry. Come, Gamey, you must open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with the sky strike and will surely awaken. Climb onto the pestle and show the gate your sword's power. But before that, let's speak to groups. Yo, oh, Gamey! So the rail track I put up outside, huh? Was it for? Duh. <laughs> oh, you see, but for long. Okay, Amos. Uh, if we go here. Oh, I thought that was something I could dig, but I guess not. Anyways, let's do what Granny has said and charge up Sky Strike to open the gate of time. Whoa! Oh -ho! No! If we had sealed that skin wave with skin, that terrible beast is waking even as we speak. It's likely the monster reacted to secret power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened. But there was no other way to put to open gate, so it goes. Gimme, you must imprison beast once again. <laughs> All right, bring it on. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break up my new toy. Trust me, that flame bake up teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are you waiting for? How many out there? Okay. Well, let's head out and face the prison once again with maybe some help from Groose. Actually, let's see what he has in store for us. He gave me! Try not to draw on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon we're working on. I call it the Grusinator. Leaves you speechless, does it? That's only natural. You won't believe how much time I've been building this beauty. Hey, check it out. First, I got all the all the fancies crashing the area out of the way. Then I lay down the rails for her to run on, all by myself, of course. 
I don't know what come over me. I had no idea I had time to make something like this, you know? Anywho, just... You just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll put a hurting on the ugly monster. I don't care how big for you are, you're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the, bo to the body. I'm so beauty. Or, or, uh, beauty. Hang on though, that monster showed up a smoke sooner than I was expecting. There are, there are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready, ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beats. Okay. Well, that's far let me know, Bruce. Amos, let's drop on down and face the prison once again. <laughs> I just barrel run into a cutscene. Here he comes. The in prison. What? What the? The he grew freaking arms! He grew freaking arms! Dying friends in round two! Oh great, he has some stack with him. Great. Look at that, seems like our ugly friend grew itself a pair of hands. Great timing! I had noticed how to climb because my machine has a mean right arm. While she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do whatever you need to stop it. Alright, first thing we are going to want to do is back away, pull our, our bow. Um, or not. You know what? Screw Crap. Well, I screwed that up. Oh, uh oh. I thought the bows were somehow sh one shot his um toes. I guess not. Hey, Kimmy, the machine's all low of rage smash. If that flaring stick of teeth tries to climb wall, I can blast off he from here with the bomb. When you want some backup from me, just send me a signal with the up. Okay. Um, let's do that. Alright, it's time for the to explode into action. Adjust the machine with the bell and aim aim at your target with the Okay. Once you finish aiming, press A button to launch a bomb. If it hits, you'll stun this stain sucker. If you forget controls, press two and time you in control of the grizzly to review the basics. Alright. Well then, let's shoot him down. Okay, perfect. I shun. Ha! Ah, she passed me. Punch, stun she. I tell you, I was in love. I was in love the first time. Pull this lever. I'll start loading her back up with that bomb. So keep be on the big ugly target. The singer. Okay, so let's. Hit away his um toes. Ouch. Well, good thing I have some crap. Oof, oof. Crap. Ouch. You, you lose some fish. Ah, at least I got that one toe out. That toe out. Crap. Ah, crap. I gotta go back up. Well, that worked. Uh, please tell me I'm not in way. Okay, doesn't look like it. Whew. Okay, I'm I'm kind of exhausted right now because my heartbeat is just racing, and right now I'm kind of hungry. So after this boss fight, I'm actually going to do the thing where I'm going to try and eat the what? Who grew his fingers back? 
Oh, Roos is ready. Oh, you know what? This is great time to do this. I never done this before. This is going to be the first time I'm going to do this. Just jump on his head. His stake. That's the first time I ever done that. And you know what? I'm going to do that for a second time. Oh. Okay. Oh, Roos is ready. Um. Ah. Gee. God damn it. Fucking prison just pushed me out of the way. Alright, fine. I'm going to do that one thing again I did before. If you try to climb, I'm going to shoot him down with the Groot's name. Because I'm not going to bother with his toes. I know Groot's just give me a sec. I shot him. Good. Alright, I want to check where is he? Good, he's right above me. Good. Jump. Oh well. Ouch. Why am I doing? Grab the bow out. Okay, this is stupid. Ouch! This is freaking stupid. <sighs> One more. There we go. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to jump cut in time at the top at his um head because this is going to take me a while. Yes, yeah, going to take me a while. Yes, Gross, I know. Oh well, I'm already there. And there we go, he's dead. Or just defeated, I think. Yep. He's defeated. Oh That was actually smoother than round one, I think. Right? Also he was supposed to be a lot tougher than gear him for round two. <sighs> Whew. I, I feel good about that. <sighs> and now, we can seal him away for the second time. Now, Gamey, Sh strike the ceiling, strike, break with the sky strike, and restore the seal quickly. Alright, I'm kind of far away, so I'm going to try my best to get over there as quickly as possible. Okay. There we go. And what's the pattern? Oh, okay. That's pretty nice. There we go. I actually render a lot fast, a lot better than the first time. So. Nice work there, Gamey. Curse you can have done it without me. But no need, no need to thank Scrooge. I know I saved your tail. Eh, you did all right. Now let's get that gate of, gate of time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. Well, you are up there, 
and it's going to take me a while to get up there myself. So Amos says, bring up the Gus and just get up there. Okay, um, where's the temple again? Just thorping right about now. There we are. Alright. Now let's actually open the gate of time correctly. Actually, you know what? Before we open the gate of time, it seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. You have my thanks, Gamey. And as do you, Grus. I do not wish to dwell on what what may have happened if you two haven't been here. <laughs> uh, you gave me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to s stop feeling sorry for myself, but my energy to doing things I what I can do to help. I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Mm. Gamey, you must wonder wh what it is you've been f fighting out there in the great pit. There is much I could tell you, but safer, but safer to say is the root of evil we face. When you pass the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and resist it, it into its prison a thousand times, but we will always shatter the bonds that will confine it. Such is its awesome power. We must destroy it as source or suffer this fate again and again. There's no time to lose. Hit the gate with a scary strike. Come on, Gamey, charge that sword of yours with that secret force stuff Granny was talking about and zap the gate time. Brown, Granny. Mm. Indeed. Now, Gamey, go. Go to the gate. I'm going to save that for next episode um, because we are kind of running low on time and I want to get some food. What? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I think Granny's like dot dot dot. It's like I, I shouldn't take the rest because I'm a bit of a rush. Well, anyways, before we open game of time, uh, I'm going to save it here. So, next episode, we are going to open game of time. How many times have I said game of time this episode? And see Zelda once again. So, anyways, I'll see you guys next time.